So I do want to say, before you start watching this, I didn't want to make this some glamorous looking five star production uh, of the rooftop tent. I wanted it to be as realistic and as proper as, uh, as, as possible. Um, I don't want to add any frills or anything special behind it. Um, I know some guys go a little bit overboard, but that's okay. <clears throat> Not everything has to be as glamorous as possible. It's not breakfast. Welcome to the 60,000 kilometer review of the SkyCamp 4 sleeper. What I've put it through, what I've experienced, what I've had problems with, and what I enjoy. So I've had my cup of tea, and I think I'm just going to go through the inside with you briefly. I'm using my phone, not a proper camera, because I think this is going to be pretty chill and quick. So inside, I did put a light, uh, which I put the wiring through up all the way up the top. Not such a good idea. Um, the residue, when it gets hot from sticking it on, uh, when the vehicle is parked, it's just not worth it. Uh, it just kept on falling down, so I left it. What I did do though, is I did put electricity, let me show you there. Uh, power through there. So I just draw the hole through the bottom, uh, install this. It's got a USB and a cigarette lighter. The cigarette lighter I use for another light, which is here, which is for outside, and I'll show you that. Absolutely love it. Best thing ever. And I can charge uh, my Apple devices on the inside. Uh, do I use the Skylight? No, not really. Um, if I've got condensation and I need to dry it, yeah, then I'll open it up and get in there with a towel and I'll, and I'll do that, but not really. Um, it's got the two straps over here. Do I use those? Very seldom. Uh, Richard didn't even know what they were for, but yeah, I kind of just uh, put them together. Um, other than that, the mattress is pretty good. Uh, I didn't sleep with an extra blow up mattress, which I normally do. I have one from Nature Hack, I'll put a description down below. You can check it out. Um, comfort of the mattress. Generally, pretty cool for guys. For ladies, it's a little bit different. Obviously, they got curves and uh, and and hips. So I bought the Nature Hike mattress, um, which is quite big actually. It's like a double. This is a king size. I've got a king size sheet on it. Uh, on the current mattress, on the Nature Hike mattress, I have a double size sheet which I bought. I just leave it in here, take it out every now and then to wash. I don't blow up the extra mattress uh, all the way because then it becomes too hard. But if you go just under half and you put the two together, it's fantastic. You sleep like a bomb. The wind and the mesh. The mesh is pretty good. Uh, it allows a decent amount of air through it, but it doesn't allow a lot of wind, especially when it's hot. So it's got small holes. It restricts slightly. Not a big problem. You're not really going to be here when it's um, or inside when it's like 50 degrees outside. Well, not 50, but uh, centigrade, not Fahrenheit, by the way. Um, it's really good. I have no problems with it. It allowed last night, for example, a nice breeze to come through and it was fantastic. The blackouts are pretty good. The, um, when it rains, never had a leak inside when it, when it rains, no problem. If it is super cold, you can close everything up, um, drop down the blackouts and all of that. It does retain some heat, not a lot. I'm in uh, Southern Africa. We don't exactly have the North um, American and European colds. Um, I have one big, what's this, I wouldn't call it a duvet, a uh, sleeping bag, sorry. I have one big sleeping bag that I leave in here, it's a minus five. Um, you can leave stuff in, I don't leave a pillow, um, because I love my pillow, I take it home with me. 
Uh, and this can stay in here. If you fold it up correctly, you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, what else is there in here? Not much. Wear and tear inside. The only wear and tear that I have found is little bits like that over there, um, which is chafing. A uh, little bit over there, which is also chafing. Other than that, the wear and tear on the inside has been pretty good. The struts have not had a, had a, I haven't had a problem with the struts. I've never had to also put in those holders so that it doesn't fall down. I think if I watched the video or something like 75 kilometer winds, that's gnarly in itself. Anyone camps in 75k winds uh, should actually be sleeping in the vehicle. You shouldn't actually be outside. Uh, what else is there? That's about it for the inside. Let's go outside and have a look. So, underneath, um, wear and tear quite a bit. Let me just turn this around. I've had to put these strips, which is actually for sound damping or soundproofing in the vehicle. Uh, I actually put them down over here because it was wear and tearing quite hectically. You can see over there from the ladder. The ladder in itself has been in really good nick. I've never had a problem with it. Um, it's held itself very, very well. However, ruining underneath here has been a problem. I haven't washed underneath here. I have done over, I think I said it was 50, it's probably over 60, 70,000 kilometers in this, in this, uh, with this rooftop tent. Um, I've never washed underneath, so it is dirty and dusty from driving in itself, which I'll explain in a bit. These lights, I put this strip of lights in here. It is absolutely gold. I love them. It's an LED strip. Um, it goes all the way down to the end over there. Uh, put a little hole, a uh, light switch, it's obviously not plugged in upstairs. Um, the power goes through the other side, which I'll show you in a second, but these lights are fantastic. I absolutely love them. The reason I love them is that it puts a down light when you're sitting here. So if you're sitting outside and you need light, uh, you can put the down light on, it's not in your face. Um, best on my rig, uh, definitely for the rooftop tent for sure. Uh, I've also got that bag um, that you hang here from our camp, it was sent by Jason. Love that bag. There's so much that you can do with it. It is fantastic. I have had a problem with uh, these here. These are the version one of holding down. Um, not lacquer at all. The first one's broke and obviously I had to drive back. The other... I just want to pause there quickly. I took a photo this morning that I found and the front clip had broken off. You can see it completely gone here. It can fall off, but obviously not while it's locked down. Uh, Jason says a new one has been ordered for me, so it is going to be taken care of. But the problem is that when you're out in the bush, what are you going to do? Um, you'll have to make a bit of a jiggle, which shouldn't be difficult, but obviously not what you want. The main issue that I had, uh, wasn't really explained to me in the beginning, but I guess it is wear and tear. The, um, these steel stays that hold uh, everything up, I would fold them in line with the vehicle. Uh, with, with the rooftop tent and because of all of the driving I do and the corrugation uh, they actually slipped out while driving um, and if, if you have a look so all I've all I've done now sorry if you have a look at um, there is a gap when you fold the flip over for the four sleeper so I actually had a, it was a problem for me and um, luckily it wasn't windy so I didn't have a lot of flapping that wasn't too bad so Jason from our campus sent some more, um, from the Southern African office sent some more, and he also sent the version that um, I can drill in and make those go down too, which uh, I must tell you is a complete game changer. Um, but I had to get more, put them in, and now run them this way instead of the length of the, of the, of the rooftop tent. I do want to change these. I'm not excited about it. I don't know if you can see it properly there but there is going to be wear and tear. I have also found a bit of corrosion underneath and it is aluminium. Yes, let me see if I can show you. Uh, I think you can see that over there. There is some corrosion underneath. Um, but again, I've had this for a bunch of years and about two years or so. And, you know, it's expected, not too bad. I am a little bit worried about, uh, let me see if I can do it again. Sorry, this one here. Oh, can you see there how it's bent from being pulled down? The newer versions have the brake cable, much stronger, much better. Don't know if you want to add in stuff still. I use the front runner quick release. Not very excited about those, I must admit. Um, they can rattle if you don't put them in correctly. And for some weird reason, you have to put them in sideways and then tighten it. It's a piece of steel. Lock it in, guys. Don't, 
don't make extra area for problems. I forget the word now. Anyway, other than that, um, on the top, I worked with Jason. We put the Raptor um, coating on. I can tell you, that coating is beautiful. I was getting uh, scratches, obviously, because of the areas that I go. I mean, right now I am driving through a bit of a bushy area. Uh, on the top, I was worried that it was going to scratch it too much and pierce. Um, anyway, we worked together. We had this put on. It's beautiful. The difference between uh, the black and the color on this, I chose this color specifically. Uh, with heat, there's not much uh, at all. Um, what else? It is a beautiful thing. If you can do it yourself, do it. I know I can do offer it, but I think it is a lot more expensive than what you get here. So uh, what I do with my power on the inside is this. Here's my distribution box, which is beautiful in itself. Anderson plug that goes through the outside of the window over there. And I then just take it like I showed you earlier from the inside. I just put it on there. I need to take that stuff off over there. I just put it through on here, tied it onto my roof rack. It does look a little bit messy, but I haven't just tied it up. The whole just goes through there. Other than that, guys, it's lovely, man. Flip. Uh, not many issues. Um, and the issues that were there have been dealt with quite swiftly. Uh, I'm not going to show you putting it away and all that stuff. You can watch a hundred videos on that from everyone else that's done it. Uh, but these are the issues that I've experienced. <sighs> what did I change next? I don't know. I think I would just firstly change the, the pull down thing that you lock it in with when the, when the, when the top's down. Um, it's beautiful. It does offer the, a decent amount of shade. One frustration for me is I'd like to look straight out when I'm lying in bed, but you know, with, with the way this is done, you, you can only look more at a descending angle. That's not very cool, but I'm going to enjoy my view, a little bit of breakfast. Thank you for watching. Man? Let's see.